Okay, folks, you know the drill by now. It's your boy, OK, J Love. And today, we're opening up one of the latest sets out of Japan, Shikoku Magai Store, known in English as Jet Black Poltergeist. Now, this is an extremely popular set right now, sold out across Japan, thanks to this Pokemon here, Shadow Rider, Calyrex, and VMAX, an extremely playable card, and a card with a fantastic special art illustrated by Mitsuhiro Areta. Now, this set released on the 23rd of April, 2021 and it retails for 4,950 yen. It's got 70 cards in the set list plus 25 super rares and it's commonly abbreviated as S6K. Now it's widely expected that we will see a lot of the cards from this expansion in the English expansion Chilling Rain which releases on the 18th of June 2021. It will also comprise most likely of cards from Silver Lance which is the other expansion that released on the same day and Matchless Fighters which came out a couple of months ago. So really cool set with a lot of really nice cards. We've got Celebi, we've got Zeraora, we've got Blissey, obviously got the Calyrex. And yeah, look at this absolutely stunning booster box artwork. I love the composition of the purple with the blue. Really, really nice stuff. Japanese Pokemon cards and Japanese booster packs never disappoint. So really, really cool stuff here. But I opened up a box of this a couple days ago over at my channel, twitch.tv slash okjlove. Got pretty lucky. I found the Zero Aura V special art as the first box. So, but yeah, I'm super keen to get back into this box because it does have a bunch of really fantastic cards in it and we will see them through today's video. So we got Poarun, we got Yamirami, Emonga. The word for the Japanese flying squirrel is Momonga and Amolga is based off a of flying squirrel. So pretty uh, literal name there in Japanese and a really nice illustration on this one by Nagomi Nijo. I really do like that one. All right, the first trainer rare, um, or uncommon I should say is Katorea who has an absolutely fantastic uh, full art trainer in this set, which is extremely coveted. She is a very cool Elite Four member, a very prestigious one, I should add. But her full art trainer is going for about 14,000 yen at the moment, which is absolutely crazy. We've got the very nice Denu here as well. I love Ampharos, so that is a really cool card that should have been a rare. So not a bad start. I really do like that Ampharos. I've got a lot of cards that I think should have been a rare. That one is definitely right up there, but I like it as the illustration that it is. Still gonna really appreciate that card. So we got Poarun, Amamizu no Sugata, Meripu, Tadako, Segi no Grabu, the Gloves of Justice, and Matadogasu. I like that wheezing. That's another really nice illustration. That one's by Ryuta Fuse. This is the expansion that comes with Salabi V and Salabi V Max. And it is the expansion that has the very elusive promo card of Salabi V as a special art. That one was given away when you buy two boxes of Shikoku no Gai store at select the stores in Japan. It's about 6,000, 7,000 yen card on the secondary market. It's a very nice one, but very difficult to get a hold of. We got Makenkani. We got Hoshigarisu. Hoshigaru is the Japanese verb for like greed, to like covet or, or wish for something. And Risu is the Japanese word for squirrel, which is different to Momonga. We got Nyura. I like that one. All right, our first rare and a really nice one too. Cresselia, I really like this Cresselia. An absolutely fantastic illustration on a very, very nice rare. I love the silver border, the composition again there. The purple, wow, what a nice rare. And this set has got some really nice rares in it, so I'm really keen to see the rest of them. And Kiku call the Agatha. I've been saying this for quite some time, and I did say this a lot when I opened up Matchless Fighters, that the illustrations on just the commons and uncommons in Sword and Shield sets is really, really just taking it to the next level. I don't know, they're blowing me away. Like, oh my God, here is an absolute perfect example. The Psyduck Kodaku, illustrated by Okacheke. Okacheke is a new artist. This is their debut for the Japanese Pokemon card game. So they've really, um, I think they've captured the hearts of a lot of collectors. And this is a really cool card, the Kodaku. We got Mokoko, Flaffy, and would you know it in Japanese, the Japanese word or well, the onomatopoeia for Fluffy is Moko Moko, so a very literal name in Japanese. Kakureon, I like that one too. Another rare, Kobaruon, I really like this one. I like the silver. I think that goes very, very well with the illustration. A nice majestic illustration. And behind that we got Spiru Energy. Again, I told you, the rares in this set do not disappoint. The V and the VMAXs, again, they do not disappoint either. We've got some more hand illustrated V and VMAX cards, which is a very nice addition. So again, I'm very excited to show you guys these cards. Tanebo for C dot. Otamaro, this is a good one. 
Otamajakushi is the Japanese word for tadpole, and maro is the Japanese word for thin eyebrows. Uh, in English, we just, I guess we'd call them thin eyebrows. In Japanese, it's called maro. The Japanese word for eyebrow is mayu. But you can see here, time pole's got those very, very thin, quirky little eyebrows. Behind that, we got gobito. All right, another rare and another rare that I'm happy to get. Kudeseria again, and I do like that one, so I'm happy with that. And Bachinki. If there's two rares that I want to get, it's uh, definitely the Cresselia. It would have been really cool if there was a dark rye in this set. That would have been a nice pairing, but alas, it wasn't meant to be. I'll take the Cresselia though. It is absolutely stunning. All right, we got Gamagaru, Gobito, Meripu, Gorudaku, and my that we got Kusadori Grabu, the gardening gloves. So no V or V Max yet, which is cool, which is cool. You usually find about four, five V cards and two V Maxes, although I have seen a couple of people in my Discord uh, channel have shared their hits so far. There's a few people that have gotten three V Maxes, which is unusual, but it does occur sometimes. So we got Kodaku, we got Gosu, Hinoyakoma, Datengu, the shift tree, and behind that we got Rengeki no Makimono, Ten no Maki. Japanese hit rates are a bit different, or I should say a lot different to English booster box hit rates. English booster boxes, you never really know what you're gonna get. It's kind of hard to gauge um, and get some expectations. With Japanese booster boxes, you have a general idea of what you will find. Damagaru, we got Yayakoma, Gosu, again another ghastly, Zumi. And behind that, we got Gorugu. You usually know that you will find, again, four to five V cards uh, and two V Max. Sometimes you only find one, sometimes you find three, but you always will find a super rare card or higher. And occasionally you will find two super rare or higher cards, which is a very nice little surprise. You do get pretty jacked up when you find those. So we've got Otamaro. Maika, I like this one. Ika is the Japanese word for squid. And Maika, Maika is like a Japanese term for saying like, oh, well, I guess that's fine, I guess. So Inke, Maika in Japanese. Makenkani. All right. Oh, is that a super rare? No, okay, okay. Uh, just the VMAX. Kokuba Badoreksu VMAX, a very nice card. Seeing the top of it, I actually was getting psyched out. I thought that was gonna be a super rare or a hyper rare, but yeah, just the VMAX, and again, and a perfect example of how Japanese Pokemon cards are really stepping up with the illustration, so I do like that one quite a lot. And behind that, we've got Fire Arrow. That fully psyched me out. For a second there, I thought I had found the special art, but I know that the special art is a bit more glittery, a bit more sparkly. But on the topic of that, like I said, sometimes you find two super rare or higher in a booster box. Good friend of mine, Primal Lugia, over at Twitter, found both the Caitlyn and the Shadow Rider Calyrex VMAX special art in one box, which is by far and away one of the best booster boxes I've ever seen for any Japanese Pokemon cards. So a very good find by my good friend Primal Lugia. Poarun. We got Redian. Hoshigarisu. All right, another V card, Hapinasu V. I don't have this one yet. The very nice Blissey V. I do think that is just so cool. That one's illustrated by Saki Hayashiro. I really like that one. I think the pink goes very well with the background, sort of like in a forest there. I like that a lot. That is a very clean V card. I hope more V cards start to look like that. And we got Gorudaku behind that. Yeah, I thought I was having some absolutely godly pulls, but Primal absolutely blew me out of the water. But hey, if I can do it once before, I can do it again and do it again, I will. Trust me, guys. The best pulls happen over at this channel. I got the touch. Don't ever doubt me. We got Poarun. We got Mokoko. Yamirami. Sableye. Ghost Thor. And Inishie no Bochi. You may have seen in one of my recent videos that I was lucky enough to find the Shiny Charizard VMAX, which uh, completely broke the drought for my English Pokemon card finds. Up until that point, hadn't had much luck, so that was a nice little surprise. We got Maika. Dediba. Poarun. Shakuya and Denyu again. I love this Ampharos. Ampharos's Japanese name, Denyu, is the Japanese word for current, and current is amps, I think. Ampharos, amps, yeah, you, do you see? I should know this. I really should know this, but I don't. But hey, what a nice illustration. So one V and one V Max so far. No super rare. We will find it. Could it be a double super rare box? I don't know. It's been a while since I've had a double super rare box. It's been a hot minute, so I wouldn't say no. We got Poarun. Shimama, an absolutely lovely little card. I love this one. Illustrated by Hyogonosuke. Really cool stuff. Kekenkani. All right, another rare. We got Kapurehire. And behind that, Karamanero. I almost can't keep up at the moment with the uh, the rate that Japanese Pokemon cards are releasing. We do have Eevee Heroes in a month. That is going to be an absolutely crazy, crazy expansion. Some of the cards for that should get revealed in the next 
couple of days, I think at the time of filming, they haven't been revealed just yet, but I'm sure they would have by the time I hit publish on this. We got Konohana, Makengani, Kodaku, love that side arc. All right, another VMAX. It is, it's the Salabi VMAX. And how good is this? This one's illustrated by Plata Tatsuji, but I really, really think is a fantastic card. I'm a big Salabi fan. I, I stand for Salabi. Uh, you guys might know this, so I do really like this one. Salabi VMAX, Sedibi in Japanese. And behind that, we've got Kusadori Gurabu. How fitting. I still haven't found a Salabi V. I have only opened up one box of this, so I am very excited to find that card. Like I said, I do stand Salabi. I had to buy the Salabi special art, the promo with the stamp as a single on its own. 6,900 yen I think I pay, which I'm okay with when I get my hands on that. You will see a photo of that on my Instagram. We got Sarunori. Aburi, Dogasu, Spider Energy, and Mato Dogasu. Yeah, there was a big frenzy for that card when it dropped. I mean, considering selling it over in Japan was going to cover the box of a booster box, it didn't surprise me that as many people were selling it as there were. But yes, it's a very nice card. And again, I cannot wait to get my hands on it. We got Dogasu, Tatako, Emonga, Fire Arrow. And Katorea, there she is again, the Caitlyn. I do love it when really cool NBCs or Elite Four members or gym leaders even just get Train of Full Arts. You guys know I love my Train of Full Arts. The Caitlyn is no exception, it's a really nice card, but damn is it expensive. Like I said, 14,000 yen as a single, probably only gonna go up and it is very tough to find. Not many people are selling it either. We got Rabukasu, Redian, Tatako, all right, Metagrossu V. I like this one as well, I'm very surprised. Metagross didn't get a special art in this set, but I do really like this V card. So yeah, we'll take this, but steel types always look really good as V cards. And this one, no exception. Again, the blue on Metagross. Metagross is a popular Pokemon. Uh, you don't really need me to explain it to you. So there it is, Metagross V and Kino Suisho. But yeah, that really surprised me. Cause like I said, a lot of people like Metagross. So I thought that is a shoe in to get a special art, but it wasn't meant to be. But we did get a lot of special arts in this set. We've got Zero Aura, we've got Blissey, we've got Shadow Rider Calyrex V and VMAX. And I think we've got another one, do we? I can't think off the top of my head. Salabi, again, it's a promo. Yeah, I can't think. We got Nuda, Sarunori, Kakureon. Kekleon in English, Kakureru is the Japanese verb for to hide, and Kameleon is the Japanese word for chameleon. So Kakureon, hiding chameleon, makes sense, doesn't it? All right, another V card, we got Otosupasu. This one's pretty fierce. I like the illustration on this one too, by Anesaki Dynamic. This is a big set. There are a lot of cards in this one. Again, there's 70 in Silver Lance as well. So Chilling Rain is shaping up to be one of the biggest English expansions ever. I think it's gonna rival Cosmic Eclipse, especially once you factor in how many super rare, secret rare cards there's potentially gonna be in it. It's gonna be a very big set. Gosu, I'm happy to just collect the Japanese version. Mokoko, Poaru. No way. No way. No way. Okay. Oh my god. No way. You can't- Oh my god. Oh my god. I got nothing to say. I got- I cannot believe that. What a fantastic looking card. Katorea. Caitlyn. Full art. Wow. I- I'm gonna get in a lot of trouble. I'm gonna get in a lot of trouble for finding this. Twitch, chat, I'm so sorry. Chat, I'm so sorry. I can't keep getting away with this. I cannot, I can't keep getting away with this. What a fantastic looking card though. Like I said, one of my favorite Elite Four members, so prestigious and such a nice card. I am gonna master set this one. That is, um, wow. Illustrated by N Morikura. What a fantastic job they have done and what a really cool card. I, I've got to get that in a sleeve. Unbelievable. Matadogasu, wow. Um, wow, I just berserked. A whole bunch of cards in my pile there. But I'm shook. I'm actually. I am shook. I'm shook. Wow. Wow. I am gonna back it up. Maybe? I don't know. I don't know. I I've seen it done. Like I said, I have seen it done before. I've seen somebody find not just Caitlyn, but the Shadow Rider Calyrex VMAX special art. So I'm gonna try. Uh, we got Kekenkani, Rabukasu, Gosu. Yokubarisu, greed in, the Japanese word for greed is actually yokubari. And again, the Japanese word for squirrel is risu. So yokubarisu. And spidu energy. I'm so, I'm shook. I cannot believe that. That is, I'm extremely fortunate to have found that. I can't, I cannot believe that. I'm so lucky. Like I just, I, I kind of feel bad. I kind of feel bad for how lucky I am. I kind of feel guilty for finding it. I feel bad. I feel bad. <laughs> I feel bad. I actually feel really bad. Tatako. I'm very happy, but I just, yeah. Gobito. Ready bar. 
Kiku Ko, Karamanero. Wow, I'm just, I don't, I'm so, um, yeah, that's, that's, a, that's Pokemon cards for you. Like that, that's what we chase is that feeling of just shock. I don't know. It's like shock, happiness, surprise. It's so many feelings in one. It's not just happiness or excitement. It's, it's, yeah, it's a combination. Yayokoma, Makengani, Aburibon, Gamageroge, and Inishie no Bochi. It's like a combination of like surprise, shock, excitement, happiness, relief almost, because like you are chasing cards that you want or like really rare cards. And it, just excitement, because you just want to share that with people. Like I'm going to edit this video now and just be like, I cannot wait to upload. I cannot wait to upload because I'm so excited to share that with you guys. But that has completely blown me away. Kekenkani, Aburi, Yayakoma, Shakuya, and behind that we got Gama Geroge. Again, Gama is the Japanese word for toad, and Gero Gero is the Japanese onomatopoeia for a frog riveting. So, Gama Geroge. If I find the special art Calyrex, one, there's gonna be like a thousand dislikes on this video. Two, I won't be able to sleep. I'm gonna be spent tonight. Deddy Bar, I'm already absolutely flabbergasted. Otamaro. Hoshigarisu, Celebi V, I really wanted to find this one. So yeah, there we go, the Celebi V, a really nice card, illustrated by Akira Egawa, and they've been doing fantastic work for the last three or so sets. I really do like what they're doing with the V cards, and this one's no exception. I love this Celebi. It's like a night sky, or is it foliage in the background? Either way, so, so good. And behind that, we've got Gore Store. What a, what a great card. I love that Celebi. Chat, I'm so sorry. Chat, I'm so, I'm so sorry. I didn't have to do you like that. I didn't have to do you like that, but I did. I can't keep getting away with it. I'm on one hell of a run right now. One hell of a run. We got Yamirami. Renian. Dogasu. Kirinosui Sho. And behind that, we got Garadu Matadogasu. I wouldn't mind finding the gold card of that one. The crystal ball looks really nice as a gold card. Even the psychic energy looks really nice as a gold card in this set. Like I said, a lot of the super rares in this set, fantastic. Really, really nice. Saru Nori. You might've heard me say this before. Saru is the Japanese word for monkey. Aburibon. Rabukasu. Goriranda, the Rillaboom. Again, a really cool card. I like the way they've illustrated this one. It's got a bit of a, like a manga style. I don't know how to explain it, but I do like it a lot. And behind that we got Seigi no Grabu, the Gloves of Justice. I don't know what to do. I think I might just go home. I think I might just see myself out. I think I'm just gonna put myself to bed. I am, I'm just, I'm out of here. I'm, I'm a head out. I'm a head out. I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm a head out. Shimama, Tanebo, I'm scared to open up Silver Lance. Hinoyakoma, Manura. And behind that we got Lucky Energy. All right, we're getting, we're getting towards the end here. Like I said, I don't think I will find the special art. I don't think I'll find another super rare, but the dream will live on. As long as there are packs left in the box, the dream is still alive. We got Taneball, Maika, Kakureon, Gorugu, and behind that we got Zumi. I do like the illustration on this one. This one's by Teiziro, who illustrated the Celebi V special art card. Okay, two packs left, or close enough. Aburi. Oh, it's getting quiet now. Medipu. Poarun. Zebraika. And behind that, we got Rengeki no Maki Mono Ten no Maki. Okay, it all hinges on this. Can I back it up? Can I one up ya? We're gonna find out. Okay, we got Konohana. Otamaro. Shimama. Ooh, Zero Aura V, a really nice V card. I do like this one a lot. A very nice illustration by Chibi. I did say I was very excited to find this card. Zero Aura V, really, really cool. And behind that, we got Bachinki. So that's it. I mean, that's pretty damn good for that's it. The Caitlyn, full art, super rare, very lucky. I'm gonna open up the rest of my boxes over at my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash OKJLove, Tuesday, Friday, Sunday. Subscribe, like, leave a comment. If you like the video, it helps the channel. I do really appreciate your support. Thank you so much for 4,000 subscribers recently. That is crazy. You can follow me at Twitter. You can follow me at Instagram. You can join our Discord. But until next time, OKJLove out. I actually have arguments with people when people say Interstellar was shit. I actually get real tilted. If people say Interstellar is a bad movie, I get mad because it's just wrong. Like you can have your opinion, but your opinion is shit.